Holden just rips its hair off. They enter turn number three, back to the main straight. Halfway home. Morgan will go one down. The D5 slides up. He goes back to the ledge. All oh, turn one will go red. Is that Ando, the 37 car, upside down in turn one. Boy, it's getting racy between the five and the 25. Oh, how the traffic just changed the dynamic of this main event. Mind you, you talked about that Monty Farms number 35. Oh. How was Jamie Veal's stunt riding the wheel over on turn two? Come on, folks. Grant Anderson has climbed out of the 37. Boy. Not the way that he wants to lead into the pending night three. But going back to Veal, how did he manage oh. to get that off the concrete? Wheeling it, climb the concrete. Good news is the Grant Anderson is out of the 37. That was frantic, to say the least. Tony Bockhoven, take a breath, because that was <laughs> on, and we've still got a lot to play for yet. You know, I've seen a lot of things happen at a racetrack, but seeing a guy get up on the fence like that and be able to keep going, that's pretty impressive. Luckily, it didn't cut a tire, right? That's, that would have been the thing oh, I yeah. would have expected. Yeah, and knock the front end down. Right, it's a pretty right. tricky concrete here. It's very unforgiving. James McFadden was leading this race. It was only less than half a second between he and Sheldon. Let's have a look at the replay. Once again, the Daniel trucking, giant screen. Oh, wow. Yeah, right into turn one. That actually yeah. catapulted very high on that second flip. Got the right rear up on the wall, it looked to me like. We're gonna try and find a little further back in that replay. We have seen a couple of midgets over in the US do that, where they've ridden around the top side on the fence and driven back and actually stayed on that lap. That's happened at the Chili Bowl a few times. Yeah, Michael Pickens too did a pretty amazing job in his qualifying run last season. So here's a look, we just scrubbed the wall. Oh. Wow, so actually rides looking at the right rear, perhaps of Marcus, if that's... So let's have a look for the contact. Yeah, oh, yeah. just yeah, a, a little was. brush. Yeah, it was interesting. We didn't pick up that initial contact, did we? So there is a debate and a little discussion on to how that went down. I know that Ando will be disappointed. The 37 has got plenty to repair. Boys as well, just to chime in, the Q66 of Ryan Newton three laps early actually went up and over the infield tractor tyre in turn one. So I'll be interested to see if there's any damage on that 66 car. Ando G and up the crowd a little bit over there trying to get Shep. Maybe he's trying after Shep's job. Hmm, certainly working them. J-Mac was leading Sheldon. Ian Madsen was third. Jamie Veal, Corey Eliasson is into the position number five. Behind them, it is Marcus Dumsney in six. Grant was running seventh. Behind him was Aaron Reitzel, Rusty Hickman. Tony, pretty cool for you. You've met a lot of amazing people on this trip so far, and you've got all of your landlords in the one place tonight, <laughs> mate. Yeah, you know, I've been really fortunate. Uh, Broomy, we stayed at Broomy's house just the other night, but uh, Lee and Kylie just uh, opened their house to me, the Adams. Uh, what a great time I had there, and I'm so thankful to them for welcoming me, and they took care of me, and uh, it was they made my experience in Mildura just that much better. And uh, so I'm very thankful to both of those families for opening their homes to me this week. So we're just getting a, another look at the Daniel Trucking replay just here. This is the incident on the wall cam shot. This is where it comes up just here. Boy, they go past fast. Wow. Ooh, Ooh. vivid pictures, aren't they? Just got a message through from someone as well from Bree Stewart just saying that Michael Stewart did it in a heat race here at Warnable as well in the speed.